Hello, folks. Well, you know, if the power goes out, the cell phones aren't going to work, so uh, especially if it happens in a large scale. So I've got a couple of portable CBs. I think they're the only way you're ever going to get a hold of anybody. I also am trying to set up a base station here, and I found that my 12-volt power supply has gone kaput. So I began my search for a new one on my on a search motor. Some of you may remember the article I wrote in Model Aviation 20 years ago called the 12-volt rack. As you can see from some of the pictures from the magazine article below, the chargers and equipment that we had back then were pretty bulky. Uh, mechanical timers and rheostats and everything. The only batteries we used back then were NICADs. They were heavy and uh, not very long lasting, but you could really abuse them and they just kept going. Well, in search for a clean and strong 12 volt outputted power supply to run my CB, I found that Hobby Parts and Nitroplanes has what they call a GS350 12 volt power supply. Well, it's more than sufficient enough for my needs and for only $39 it was in stock so I ordered it. Well, electrics and lipos have sure hit the scene in a big wave. And the chargers that have come on the seam are also technical wonders. And after getting involved with LiPos, I decided to get a couple of Thunder AC6 chargers and made videos for those too, and they really work well. You know, I also noted that while studying the HobbyParts.com page, that they also have a new Thunder charger. It's called a Thunder 1220 Professional. And the price was also reasonable at only $89. So I ordered them both and I'd like to show you the results. Here we go. You know, electric power is usually associated with motors and others are called engines like steam engines and such. Not sure if General Motors or a Ford Motor Company were talking about their starter motors or what, but it's always a good copy to discuss. So I'll try to remain politically correct with my terms, so bear with me. And if you don't believe me, just do a search with your search motor. Well, some of you may remember me making videos on how to make power supplies from old computer power supplies, and they work pretty good. Well, let's take a look. I want to first tell you about the power supply knobs. They're color-coded, they won't come off so you won't lose them, and the posts accept banana plugs, and they have through holes in the posts to tighten down wires or shafts, as I show I've done here. Well, as you can see, I Velcro on my uh, connectors for balancing on both sides of my charger so I can move them around and don't lose them very easy. A LiPo battery 2 cell. Balancer connected. Number of cells 2. We hit OK. And we're now charging. Push down the increase button and at the same time this tells me my input voltage um, the uh, resistance of the battery and here is uh, cell number one and number two the voltages and uh, there are only two cells so I can go back the little plus sign on there means that this is a little bit higher than the other one and uh, probably charged so uh, pretty cool stuff that you can look at while you're charging and we go back to it and uh, we're charging a 2.5 amp. Now this thing starts charging at 0 0.1, 0 0.5, it gradually works up. It's pretty cool, it doesn't just slam five amps into it right away. And that's uh, pretty good. Say it's going up right now. And the max is 2.5. So it ramps up, pretty nice uh, way of doing it. And of course you can do all kinds of balancing, uh, delta peak charging, NICADs, life batteries. You can charge your motorcycle batteries with this PB, that's lead acid. Uh, there's not anything that you can't really do with it. For example, if you needed to charge, say, 12 cells, by using Ohm's law, you'll note the max amps available to charge would work out to be about 4 amps using this power supply. If you need more, you need a bigger power supply, but the charger can handle it. This power supply can charge up to 25 amps with less cells, like I typically use in my planes with 3 to 6 cells. Okay, 4400, 14.8 volt on one charger, 
the AC6 and a 3000 milliamp 11.1. I'm running both AC6 chargers off of the Green Power G350. And what we're going to do is when I start this thing, I'm looking at the output voltage right now. Let's go ahead and hit the start button for the AC6. That says 14.8. We'll see how stable this power supply is. I'm going to start the charge. And that's charging. We go back up here. Exactly the same. Now, let's go over here and start the other one. And that's now charging. Both batteries are charging and we are at 14.47. Stable, not moving a bit. That says a lot for a charger charging two big batteries like that. I like that. I tested each cell after doing a balance charge and was pleasantly surprised as they were all equal as you can see here. And well, actually, and very surprisingly, the manual's big enough to read and it's not very hard to figure out. I like the flow charts. Well, that power supply looks like it's going to get used, so I'm going to have to buy another one from my CB, where I started in the first place. <laughs> I know charging batteries is like watching grass grow, so thanks a lot for watching and taking the time.